Cody will fire again. Five in a row from outside. What a shot. He's feeling it. Kobe again and got it. Kobe giving him room to fire, and he's taking full advantage. Ten on the clock. Sizing up Radbanovich. Here it goes. Good. No stopping Kobe there. This is remarkable from Kobe. What a show from deep. Kobe again and got it to go. Nine in a row. One, three after another. This is special. Bryant has worked this crowd into a lather, and at this point, he's hunting that three-point shot. Here it goes. Got it. Twelve threes for Kobe. The most in a single NBA game. Well, it's often said the NBA season is a marathon. And while stumbling out of the gate can prove costly, the race is won by those who endure. Tonight, two teams in the back of the standings, but the Sonics were a playoff team last season led by their indomitable point guard, Gary Payton. The Lakers, fresh off a championship 3 p Both teams looking to regain ground in the always tough Western Conference. Welcome everyone to Hollywood, where the stars always shine. And man, do we have a show for you tonight. Beautiful day here in Los Angeles, and here with Clark Kellogg, Mike Fortello, and our reporter David Aldridge, this is Kevin Hart. It's a new year, and these teams both resolving to get some wins. And in particular, the Lakers, coming off three consecutive titles, off-season surgery saw their star, Shaquille O'Neal, miss the first 12 games of the season and they've continued to struggle at his return. They have Mike, and while the Lakers sit at 14 and 20, the Sonics are at 500, 16 wins, and Clark 16 losses, but they've struggled of late. Case in point, five losses in their last seven games. I mean, they're looking to bounce back from that tough loss to the lowly Nuggets the other night, where they gave up a huge closing run, got outscored 32 to 15 in the fourth quarter. On the court for Seattle, the 6'11", Montenegrin, Probniak at the 5. Size and shooting at the forwards with Rashard Lewis and Vladimir Radmanovic. And the backcourt, the athletic Desmond Mason. And the glove, Gary Payton. For the Lakers, it's Samaki Walker and the big fella inside, Shaquille O'Neal. Iron Man, Rick Fox at the 3. And the guards, both drafted in 96 and playing their entire careers with the Lakers. Derek Fisher and Kobe Bryant. And both of these teams coming off the home and away miniseries. The Lakers with an away game and then home game versus the Suns. The Sonics having the same against the Nuggets. And I like how versatile he is on offense. Capable of burning defenses in so many ways. And the Lakers in their home gold. And the Sonics in deep green road jerseys and gold and white trim. Now, here's Peyton. Pass to Rodmanovich. Some nice ball movement here by Seattle. Lewis kicks to Mason. Shot clock at three, and he can't answer back. The three-pointer off lock. In court for those away and home, two-game series both split by the Lakers and Sonics. The Lakers winning at home, and the Sonics got the game on the road. Yeah, you know, considering the Nuggets' record, only 6-24, and 24, I think the Sonics expected to take both of those games, but you got to believe that home loss was a tough one to digest. So I expect they'll be highly motivated tonight. Here's Lewis following the basket by Shaquille O'Neal. The pass to Mason. Tries the spin move. Seattle needs to get off a shot. Three-pointer, Peyton. Here's Trobniak. Nice work on the board. It's paying off with the basket. You can't allow them to burn you on the offensive glass there. That's simply on the defense in my mind. Well, like coaches always say, remember to box out. When you don't, this is what happens. The Lakers have two of the top four scorers in the league this season. Kobe ranks second with just over 27 points a game. And Shaquille O'Neal is fourth at a hair under 27. And Shaq has just now played enough games to qualify with the league leaders as he's worked his way back from that toe surgery. Here's Peyton following the basket by Shaquille O'Neal. Peyton passes to Mason. Lewis on the way. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Outside Bryant fires the three. That one falls. His second basket of the game. He's now two for three. 
You know, Kobe usually prefers operating in the mid-range and inside. Looks pretty good to me, Mike. Yeah, last season he was second in the league in two-point field goal attempts, but he was outside the top 100 in three-point attempts. Lewis misses. Lakers leading by eight. Kobe kicks to Fox. Ryan against Lewis. From deep. Goes in for Kobe. What a start. Three triples in the first quarter already. Kobe has already tied his season high for three-point makes with that. And Kobe Bryant as good as it gets. Mike, both an all-star and all-defense for three consecutive seasons. First team All-NBA. Last season, sixth in points per game and also top 20 in assists. They want to break this scoring drought, Mike. Well, they've had a lid over the basket for a while now. Indeed. No good from Peyton. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. Walker with a screen for Kobe. Good for Bryant. His fourth three of this first half. He is on a roll. Well, Kobe was the first Laker out on the court before the game, working on that jump shot. Hard work phase, and that's his M.O. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Supersonics. Horace checked in for Walker. But Benko's checked in for the Sonics. And, Mike, look at the standings here in the Western Conference. And at present, neither Seattle or Los Angeles are a top eight seed. Yeah, a lot of teams in front of them, headlined by the Mavericks and Kings, both on pace for 60 wins or more. The Lakers and Sonics have some catching up to do. Mike, they do. And you look at the bottom of that list, Denver at 7 and 26. Clark, that seventh win coming against the Sonics in Seattle, where the Nuggets won by 12. Way to throw a little salt on that wound, Kevin. That undoubtedly was their worst loss of the season. But a win tonight will wash away some of that bad taste. Lakers leading by 14. Passes it to Orr. To the paint. Oh, no. Oh, we all know the force that Shaq has scoring inside, Mike. He's led the NBA in field goal percentage five years in a row. And again, leading this season, shooting just over 58% from the field. And he's putting some distance between himself and the runner-up, Yao Ming. Now, let's check in with D.A. for more. Well, Kevin, the Lakers' Rick Fox has been incredibly durable. He's played all 82 games the last three straight seasons. That's not an anomaly for him, but he did end up missing a few games to start this season after a scrap with the Kings' Doug Christie in the preseason. Thanks, David. Well, there's certainly some history, uh, Clark, maybe even some bad blood between the Kings and the Lakers. Yeah, I agree. I mean, and Fox's role on this team is being physical, playing tough defensively, banging the glass, but also playing smart basketball. Hopefully it's a lesson learned and we can move on. And so it's the Lakers with it after the basket by Seattle. Got it! How about this half from Kobe? Already 5-3. Kobe with the hot hand from outside. But yeah, the Suns might want to play him for the shot. Pass to Potopenko. Mason with it. There's a screen. Fires from the wing. Lewis misses. Defense backing off there, knowing the big ranger is a low percentage. Here's Bryant out of bounds. Seattle will take possession. That's the on the board. Eleven seconds left to play in the first quarter. Get through, get through, get through. Here's Forte, and here's Anderson from the arc. No good that time. And so it's Kobe Bryant making things happen for the Los Angeles Lakers. They kept going to him again and again, and he delivered with a monster quarter. We'll return shortly.
Welcome back, everyone, to the second quarter here in Los Angeles as the defending champion Lakers look to take care of home court against the Supersonics. And Phil Jackson Clark in his fourth season as head coach of the Lakers. So far, so good. Three straight rings, Mike. And speaking of rings, he coached the Bulls over these Seattle Supersonics in the 96th finals and got his sixth ring. Of course, he's now almost doubled that up with a total of 11. So it's the Supersonics now after Shaquille O'Neal's shot clock at two. And it's Forte missing. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. Bryant outside. Orius green on Lewis. Pass to Ori. Over Lewis. Here's Ori. The dish to Kobe. Goes back up. And off the glass. That one's good. Bryant's got the first basket of the second quarter for Los Angeles. Mike, they are desperate to find a basket. They're having a really hard time out there. You're right. Count that one. Good, solid execution inside. That's exactly the look you want. Well, the Sonics are looking to improve on last season when they suffered a first-round exit to the Spurs in the playoffs, although they did make a series out of it. Yeah, you know, but those Spurs were sent home by the Lakers the following round in a gentleman's sweep. So these are not the title-contending Sonics of the mid-'90s. I'd say they're more than a player away. Now Anderson following the three-point attempt by Kobe Bryant off on the layup. He'll normally convert on that finish. The defense got lucky. And he makes good on the layup. Bryant's got four points now in the quarter. The handles Kobe has are outrageous. You can tell how much he loves creating for himself. Here's Forte. And Anderson has it in the corner. George with the defensive effort. Lakers leading by 19. Stolen by Anderson. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Nine feet out. That one a little long. Bryant looking around. Let's the three fly. Rebound by the Sonics. Rush the pass to Kobe. O'Neal trying to break free. Count the basket. Kobe's got 21. I like how Bryant takes contact on the way up. This guy is very good time at out, feeling out the defense and, and absorbing that contact and still capitalizing. Seattle calls timeout. Walker's checked in for Los Angeles. Fisher comes in for Rush. Substitution on the board. Lakers on D. A 21-point lead, the biggest in the game. The pass to Mason. That's great. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. You got to make sure that you're stationary and set when you're going to set a screen. Any kind of movement typically will draw the whistle. Yeah, he made things easy for the ref right there. Clear offensive foul on the pick. Walker with a screen for Kobe. A kick out to O'Neal. Kobe against Mason. Walker a screen on Mason. Bryant's shot is off. Boy, they got lucky on that one. Yeah, he's an incredible three-point shooter. So you are ecstatic any time it doesn't go in. This is it to Rodmanovic. And here is Lewis. They double him with Bryant. Beyond the clock. Three-pointer, Payton. The Lakers with the rebound. Inside. And Walker gets it to go on the assist from Derek Fisher. Coaches want the ball in his hands because Fisher makes good decisions. He's got a really good basketball mind. Mason kicks to Payton. Bangs home the trifecta. Payton's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And Gary Payton does so much for this Sonics team. Clark scoring, assisting, defending, and all at an elite level. Yeah, you know, he carries a heavy load, Kevin. You know, last season, he was sixth in the league in total minutes played. And 
The fact that he's going on 35 years of age, that's a lot of wear and tear. Al Payton following the three-point attempt by Kobe Bryant. Over Fisher. Drobniak. That's in, coming off an assist from Payton. Love the fact that Gary Payton can create for himself and others. And by the way, he's leading the NBA in assist at 9.3 a game. And the foul called on Rashard Lewis. That's his first foul. And Los Angeles with some changes. Fox comes in for Shaq. And Rush is subbed in for Orr. 52 seconds left to play here in the half. Kobe, the pass to Walker. Just five to shoot. Brian from deep three. Los Angeles with another miss. Here in the second quarter, he's been cold from distance. I think he may need to adjust his approach. Peyton kicks to Mason. Pass to Radmanovich. Some nice ball movement here by Seattle. Here's Peyton. Walker with the rebound. Outside Bryant. On the wing, Bryant. And there's triple number six for Kobe. How about that, Mike? Kobe has now tied his career high mark in three-pointers made with six. He hit that mark before in the 2000 playoffs, but is he done? I don't know. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. Lakers on top, running away with it. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. And we're back with a picturesque view of nightfall over the towers of the financial district. Close by the Staples Center. And we're back for the second half here in L.A. as these Lakers continue their quest for a fourth consecutive title. Still a long way to go, but every game counts, including this one. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. You look at Kobe Bryant in this game, he's been everywhere. Tell you what, if he keeps knocking down threes like we saw him do in that first half, it's going to be a long... From three and a new career high for Kobe Bryant, his seventh three. And still, lots of time to add to that. Already a career high for Kobe in three-point makes. If this continues, tell you what, some league records might very well fall. Rodmanovic dishes to Mason. The Lakers with the rebound. The defense willing to concede the mid-range as the lesser of evils. It paid off there. Bryant finds O'Neal. Fox with it. Lewis covering. Outside Bryant. Shoots the three. Big threes for number eight. And Kobe Bryant is on fire. Unbelievable display by Kobe Bryant from long time out, time distance. Out. And you know, he's something different. But this is special even for him. Timeout Seattle. And Kobe Bryant. Man, is he feeling it tonight. No better feeling than that, partner, when you're this hot and even an intense competitor like him will on occasion let that enjoyment show. the wing Peyton defended by Fisher here's Rodmanovich scoreless thus far lock at six Mason that shot is off Walker with some nice deep pass to Kobe Shaq the screen on Mason to the inside. O'Neal and Shaq with the slam. Shaq with 36 points in their last outing, and last season he came in second in points per game. Mason kicks to Lewis. 
The pass to Peyton. Over Fisher. And once again off the mark by Seattle. O'Neal sets the screen for Kobe. The Lakers rebound. Pass to Walker. Ryan against Mason. A three ball. They get the rebound. Here's O'Neal. And Shaq with the slam. And that's a double-double for him now. Ten points and 12 rebounds. And Clark, plenty of superlatives for Shaquille O'Neal, an all-star all but one season of his decade-long career. He's a dominant force for sure. First team All-NBA three years straight, partner. Points, rebounds, and blocks. He stacks them up in a big-time way. Bryant outside. Here's the three. Another three for Kobe. He's got nine. Well, at this point, time to think about the NBA record for threes in a game. That's 11, except by Dennis Scott. And only four players have ever hit 10 in a game. Kobe approaching some pretty lofty company. Here's Probniak. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. Takes the three. Wow! Oh, Brian pouring in the threes. Ten of them. Count them. Ten. Just one triple away from tying the all-time record. And these fans know they're seeing something special. Mason, the pass to Peyton. Lewis outside. Los Angeles foul. And Los Angeles with some changes. George is checked in for Fox. And Rush is subbed in for Fisher. And the Supersonics also making a change. Anderson's checked in. Peyton passes to Rodmanovich. Now Lewis from past the arc. And shot off. Struggling to find their flow while the other team is on the roll. Yeah, this drought is really hurt. Good! 11! Kobe's got 11 threes! Tying Dennis Scott for the most in an NBA game! But can he break the record? If I know Kobe, he wants his own record. And the Sonics decide to take a timeout. And Clark, the crowd responding, letting Kobe know they're enjoying the show. Tell you what, Kobe is hunting that shot right now, isn't he? Yeah, you can tell he's feeling it. Trying to see how far he can go. Madsen, he's checked in for the Lakers. Medvedenko comes in for Walker. One twenty-nine left to play in the third. Lewis dishes to Anderson. Bucket is good. Anderson's got his first bucket of the night. And the lefty, Kenny Anderson, he's been dealing with the strained left calf the last few weeks, but still finding a way to get it done. There it is! There it is! The record! 12! 12 threes for Kobe! The most in a single NBA game ever! Wow! Outside, Lewis. And there's the rebound by Medvedenko. Here's Los Angeles now. This run now up to 22 points to two. Kobe, the pass to Manson. That's in, coming off an assist from Bryant. Enjoying this big lead, and right now they look unstoppable on offense. Everything is going exactly how their coach drew it up. Top to bottom, this is the pinnacle of execution. Pass to Potopenko. Anderson outside, down to five on the shot clock. Rebound by Kobe. And so Bryant will bring it up for Los Angeles. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Now Rush, they set the screen. No good on his first attempt of the game. And so it's Los Angeles, able to put on a show for the ages. The three-point shooting has come fast and furious to the tune of what has become a big-time blowout in progress. And don't go away. We'll be right back.
And we welcome you back to the fourth quarter of play here in Los Angeles as the Lakers look to protect their home court from the visiting Sonics. And Mike, the Sonics have to play again tomorrow night, a home game against the Spurs. And with a back-to-back, -back, interesting to see how Coach Nate McMillan manages his players' minutes. If it seems like the outcome has been decided, it might make sense to rest some of those heavy-minute players. No coverage that time. Or he's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the Lakers. Now here's Anderson. Here's Forte. And the rebound collected by Ori. Mike, they have been fantastic tonight, haven't they? What a performance from them. Out of bounds. Seattle will take possession. And the Lakers making a change here. Hansen's checked in. Number 35, Mark Hansen. Anderson with the ball. Pass to Mason. Here's Potapenko. Six to shoot. Here's Anderson. The teardrop falls in. Nice finishing close. Anderson is such an assertive scorer. And next up for the Lakers, Mike, taking on the Cavaliers on Friday, then Sunday, the Miami Heat. Two teams towards the bottom of the standings, and three days rest in between. A good chance for the Lakers to stack some more wins. Get this man the ball anywhere near the rim. He knows what to do. Anderson outside. There's the pass to Forte. Lakers with the rebound. Kobe's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Rush the pass to Walker. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. With authority. Walker plowing past the contact inside. Mason looking around. They set the pick. Here's Booth, and he jams it after taking the nice feed on the run. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision, excellent. They are in complete control, coach, of this game. There's no question, without a doubt, they've been firing on all cylinders. In every way, you're right. It's time now to check in with David Aldridge for more on the Lakers. D.A., take it away. Well, through the first 30 games of the season, the Lakers have had their worst start in a decade, but since then they've gone three and one. And things finally seem to be stabilizing for the defending champions. Kevin? You got it, David. Definitely a different feeling from last season when, Mike, they came out of the gates on fire. Well, every season poses unique challenges, but there's definitely a fatigue factor for repeat champs. Oh, and the touch by Shaq! Like, whenever this big man gets fancy with it, O'Neal is a ridiculous dunker when he's this close to the rim. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. And here is Peyton. Passes to Lewis. Over Fox. Lewis misses. That's not a bad look. He missed that chance, but he'll get them to fall if he gets space like that. Stolen by Mason. Peyton outside. He kicks to Rodmanovich. Back to Peyton. Here's Rodmanovich. Pass to Lewis for the three. And Shaquille O'Neal pulls it down. He's out there just forcing it. Terrible mindset to have with the way he shots the ball. And Phil Jackson calling timeout, letting these Laker fans show some love. A much-deserved ovation for Kobe Bryant, Mike, as he'll be subbed out after a job well done. A performance to remember. All in a day's work for Kobe. With the game put away, no need to keep pouring it on. And just maybe leaving himself room in the future to come back and break this record all over again. And so the Lakers win it, going away behind a record-setting night from Kobe Bryant, who set a new high watermark from beyond the arc. And for a player who averages well under a single three-point make for his career, and 31% from that distance, this came out of nowhere. I it sure did, and how about this from our stat crew? Before tonight, 
Kobe Bryant only had four or more three-point makes in Clark just seven games his entire career. Yeah, kudos to our researchers. That's a nice nugget. Pretty surprising that that's the story, the way he shot the ball tonight. But it was certainly a pleasant surprise for these Lakers fans who witnessed history in the making. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thanks, Kevin. Alongside Kobe Bryant. Kobe, a great game for you, not only scoring, but setting the table for teammates as well. Well, I wanted to make sure I didn't forget about my guys. You know, when I get going like that, I have a tendency to stand around and I had to make sure to start the second half, kind of pace it out a little bit and uh, bring this thing home together. Well, you kept everybody connected, Kobe, and it led to a great win. Congrats. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, thank you. And so for Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan alongside our entire 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. So long and good night, everyone. Said it was up and it was stuck.